What's up? I'm Patrick Jeffrey. So Christmas time is my favorite time of the year. I absolutely love Christmas, which is why I decided to do four holiday themed episodes of Baking with Jeffrey in the month of December. For this episode, we're gonna make breakfast, and that breakfast is vegan eggnog pancakes with the cranberry maple syrup. Let's start off by making our cranberry maple syrup. For that, you're gonna need a cup of maple syrup, a half a cup of cranberry sauce, and a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Stir the maple syrup, cranberry sauce, and cinnamon together in a saucepan over medium heat. Cook that, stirring occasionally until well combined and heated throughout, which should take about five to 10 minutes. Once it's all well combined, take it off the heat and let it cool while we make our vegan eggnog pancakes. So like I said, we're gonna move on now to making our vegan eggnog pancakes. To make them, you're going to need one and a half cups flour, which I already have in my large mixing bowl, one tablespoon sugar, two and a half teaspoons baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of vegan margarine melted, a flax egg, and of course, one cup of vegan eggnog. I am using So Delicious brand. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna combine our flour, which like I said, I've already got it in my large mixing bowl, our sugar, our salt and our baking powder and we're going to combine that together. Now we're going to combine our vegan eggnog, our flax egg, and our vegan margarine in a smaller mixing bowl. Once our wet ingredients are well combined, we're gonna create a well in our dry ingredients, like so. And we're gonna pour our wet ingredients into that well. And we're gonna stir our ingredients together until combined. All right, so as you can see, I already started on my first pancake. I really wanted to make sure I could actually make them and not make a complete mess. So I just started before I showed you guys, you get what I'm saying? All right, so I forgot it once started. Uh, basically what I am doing is I'm filling the batter in this weird contraption because I want to get the round shape. It's really difficult to get the round shape when you just pour it on the like, skillet. So yeah, um, that one's almost done. I'm gonna add another one. Basically the top to this thing here, which doesn't, it's supposed to make like perfect pancakes, but it does not. It's like a pancake batter dispenser, but it doesn't do its job. <laughs> so I'm just using the top of it, and then I'm just moving it out a bit, and then just letting it drop. And it doesn't always work. Well, that was kind of disappointing. I was only able to get two not so round pancakes out of that. But you know what? It's not about beauty, it's about whether they taste good or not, and I already know they taste good because I've made these before, and they look just as lovely. All right, so basically, since we've got our pancakes done, we're gonna top it with our cranberry maple syrup, which is extremely hot right now, so I don't think I'm gonna eat these because I don't wanna risk burning my tongue. Just like that. All right, that's good enough. All right, so you can find this recipe and more recipes on my website at bakingwithtrippy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up down below. Also down below is a subscribe button and click it now. I upload awesome content like this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So subscribe now to avoid missing out. All right, so I'm Patrick Trippy. I love you guys, and as always, thanks for watching.